you, sir. Very good. We, we need to double check because last time we yeah. interviewed you, it was. Yeah, okay, it was a little. It was a little kickoff. Yeah, now you got a bodyguard yeah, with him. you. We got him. We got him. Some new glasses. Time. I yeah, like these. I, know, I swapped them out. I swapped them out. <laughs> to be fair, I like these glasses better, uh, and, and I'm wearing some too, so they can't yeah. tell the difference between us. <laughs> uh, you know, you really did steal the show at the last, uh, you know, uh, walkthrough. Unintentionally, but yeah, I think so. Unintentionally that time, but on Saturday night, I think you intend mm. to steal the show. There's a lot of heavyweights on the card here. You know, it seems like at the top of the card might be a mismatch, but on the undercard, we've got some scraps. Uh, how do you, at the end of the night, end up being the guy that everybody's talking about? Go in there and do what I usually do, is put on a show. Because that's, that's, what I, that's what I love doing. They're the fights I like being in. The ones that you really, you come out at the end and maybe you got a bit of blood, sweat and that, and you think, yeah, no, know what, I've earned this. And they're the ones I want to be in. So hopefully on Saturday night, I've got the right dance partner for that. Now, I would say as uh, ugly as it might have been, it certainly got some attention on your fight. Mm. Uh, but did you find what happened there uh, during our interview to be outside the box, like, you know, something crossing the line there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it went way too far. Um, it wasn't a situation that needed to happen in terms of, like, building the fight for hype or if that was the reason and whatever. It was unnecessary. Um, and it's a shame that it happened, really, because it distracted from the event of what the, the great announcement of to that the spectacle the show was going to be. We, we were supposed to be on the, um, on the press as well to do our announcement of our fight, but... All of that obviously got messed up, so yeah, it's a it's a shame that went around. But the other side is it did add a bit more spice, so I guess you have to look at silver linings. Lastly, on that point, uh, there was a lot of speculation and rumors, of course, around that. Were you injured at all? Did you, was your finger hurt? Were you cut? Was there a chance that this fight wouldn't happen because of the uh, that spectacle? No, there was nothing like that. There was nothing that would ever prevented me from fighting at all. Um, like I say, it was just a, a silly little silly little scuffle that didn't need to happen. There's four belts on the line. I'm ranked pretty well with the with the WBA and the IBF at the moment. So with this fight as well, it will push me up the rankings even further. And I'm not too many steps behind these these top guys. I'm I'm not I'm not that far off. So a few more big fights, a few more big names, and I'm I'm right there in the mix. You know, Joshua Wilder, both maybe. Hey, if the phone rings, I'm always ready. <laughs> How do you see the main? It's, it's a great fight, yeah, definitely. It's something I'm, I'm really interested in watching. Um, I think there's, there's question marks on both sides. Is, is Fury going to really turn up and put a show on? Is Ngannou going to kind of stop the show and, and drop him and get him out of there? So it's going to be an interesting one to watch. That's the thing. You got yourself a good brand and a name recognition, and these MMA fights seem to be making a ton of money for fighters. Are there any MMA fighters that you might want to fight? into the back end of my career. Let me do what I need to do in boxing first, and then we'll maybe cross over and have a look. We'll watch you do what you have to do in boxing come Saturday night. I expect a good fight. Thanks for the time. Radio Rahim and Fabio Wardley.